All right, hello, hello everyone. All right, you can mute your, you can unmute yourself now, Ren. Hello. Yes. I'm uh, I'm on your stream. I'm 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 lurking. Yes. I heard my own hello. <laughs> you uh, you got your gremlin hands on my overlay again. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mind the background noise. I have to keep the window open to keep myself cool. And there's a fucking street cleaner going past my house. Face. So. I hope he does a good job. He better Keeps fucking do it. Clean. He better fucking do a good job, or I'll go to the council and get him fired. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say you were gonna get the fertilizer. <laughs> Fuck no. I'm not gonna get the fertilizer. <laughs> I don't gotta waste fertilizer on him, but yeah, uh, today, I'm just gonna continue work on building the men at arms and having, getting them ready for painting. I'm doing, uh, force ground, uh, drones. Yeah, nice. And, uh, I'm just assembling them, because I still have, like, six, six sprues to go through. Jesus. Six and a half, really? I am still working through that starter box. Oh yeah, same here. Oh, like, I ordered more than the starter box because I was excited and I wanted to get more, but... But you're still not done with the starter box. I am not. That starter box, even just assembling, lasts a while. Oh, it does. They... Like, I said, like I've said in the past, they give you a lot for what you put into the mo like money was. Yes. Um, and remember to use Mari's discount code for your first purchase. <laughs> now, my, now Red's shilling for me. I don't even have to do the shilling. Uh, you think I won't shill for my friends? Ah, uh, Just bring you on as a hype person. <laughs> of course I will shill for you and Kami. Because y'all are both my friends and my colleagues. Yep, there we go, the command. Good work, Lioness. <laughs> ads. Nah, no ads, just promotion. <laughs> no, if you want ads, go to my channel. I actually have an ad break redeem. Really? Yeah! What kind of ads do you even show? Uh, as much as they're redeemed. But like, do you actually show actual ads or is it just like a meme? <laughs> no, I hit a uh, ad break one minute or so. Ah. So it does, in fact, show ads. <laughs> For that, I would need to be alive when you stream, man. That is Why true. Is, I am sorry. My streams are not EU friendly right now. <laughs> Will they ever be EU friendly? <laughs> one day. One day. Um, Red Valley moved to EU when? <laughs> I'll get fun my citizenship. I'll gladly move over there. Uh, get you a green card, don't worry. We just have to get married. <laughs> yeah, um, Ren and Mari get political married. Political <laughs> married? <laughs> is it not a political marriage? What is this? The fucking Middle Ages? <laughs> Does that mean if I marry you, do I get do I get the do I get the land of Wessex? <laughs> I think I just I just dropped a fucking arm. Hold on. A dowry of three geese. Only three geese. Fine, eleven geese. Final offer. Deal. <laughs> I fucked with that arm though. Just went fucking flying. I think I just uh. yeeted this arm. Hold on. I found it. Uh, Alright, let me rephrase that. Eleven geese or the mystery box. The mystery box? What's in the... Oh, I wonder what I could get out of the mystery box. But, limited time only, the mystery box comes with mystery juice. What? Okay, this is getting... This is getting questionable now. <laughs> This is getting pretty <laughs> sus. It's just mystery juice. I don't know what's sus about mystery juice. It's very legit. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but how, how was your weekend, Ren? Oh, you know... Chaotic evil. Ah, uh, so nothing new then? Nothing new. Are potatoes potentially explosive? Uh... Yes. An electrical current can be sent through them, and thus they can be considered an explosive. They could also be distilled into vodka, which could then be used to make Molotov cocktails. Yes. Further distillation will prove de better results. You want to go for something not dissimilar from rock gut, however, if you want to make a good <laughs> Molotov. Yeah. A nice Everclear will also work. Really, as long as you're above 170 proof, you'll be good in terms of flammability. You know a lot about this. I... I'm a heavy alcoholic, Mari. <laughs> <laughs> I am a very heavy alcoholic! I mean, I get the alcohol per alcoholic part, but like... How do you know so much about turning alcohol into explosives? You... You know I burn hair off my body, right? Yeah. I thought you just do that with like a laser. No, I, I don't do that professionally. I do that as a hobby. Oh. Because I'm bored. What the, you shouldn't be doing that just because you're bored. That's pretty dangerous. Point. Counterpoint. It's fun. The, <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. I'm usually drunk when I do it, which is why I need to know these things. <laughs> you heard it here. You heard it here, folks. Don't, uh, don't get drunk and start burning hair off your body. I mean, it's fun. Yeah, don't do it. It's a terrible idea. I've only had a little bit of fun doing it. A little uh, bit. An adequate amount of fun. A measured am amount of trolling. Well, there are still parts of... I guess that Hydrate Redeem applies to me too, Val. I guess. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm just assuming. Feel free to tell me otherwise. I mean, I'm not going to stop you if you want to. Whenever Red's on the stream, I mean, it's too I gotta much. stay hydrated right now. It's the only thing keeping me awake. Hydro homies. Look, we we ride together, we hydrate together. Let's see. Why won't the arm stick where it needs to be? <laughs> at two arm, at two. Ah, uh, yes, I too have the issue of in life of arms not going where they need to go. <laughs> No, it's just the shield arms, you know? Yeah. You have shielders, too. Uh, yeah, our shields are a little awkward to put together, to be honest. No, ours are, too. Um, you're not alone over there. <laughs> the grass is not greener in the spires oh. this time. Oh, hello, Kami. Hello. Selling explosive potatoes for tree sil- you're undercutting the market, Solaris. I'm gonna have to break. No, your that's knee overcutting the market. I'm gonna have to break your kneecaps. All right, Mari, Mari, Mari. Ooh. You can buy rock cut for about twenty copper. True, true. Also, thank you for the host, Kami. Technically, I should be. Yeah, I am auto hosting you. <laughs> hey. <laughs> And yeah, I can't like unhost and then rehost to show that I'm hosting. So <laughs> I am sorry. That's fine. You are auto hosting. <laughs> but I have you and Kami at the top of my auto host list. Hey. I want you to know that, okay? Okay. That, I, I find that as an honor. <laughs> Y'all um. are my teammates. It's like. I'm pretty sure that's a legal obligation. <laughs> well, we didn't sign a contract, did we? Okay, 
Okay, it's a moral obligation on my part. Yeah, because I don't remember signing any contracts. Oh, we absolutely didn't. I just like you guys. Uh... Aww. <laughs> Renvalia has morals. <laughs> yes, how, how are, is how is everyone in the chat this morning? How are you all doing? Um, apparently they're all shocked finding out that I have morals. Hmm. But yes, it's true. I do, in fact, have morals. Like not crashing the economy. <laughs> uh. No, no, that one's, uh, that, that one's, one's up for grabs. Ah. Uh. I will absolutely do that. Uh, no, I have morals like, uh, how do I put this? Uh, not selling out people I like. Aw. Uh. Unverging <laughs> all the olive oils. <laughs> <laughs> the olive oil- Gentrification, if anything. That's just. That's unfair market. That's unfair. That's unfair competition. <laughs> it's gentrification. And I still can't believe I got away with that one. Yep. Get away with unvirgining the olive oil. Oh, don't worry. Penis Farm is coming back. Penis Farm? This week. Penis. Oh, let me guess. More st uh, P -E -E yeah. N I S T. Let me guess. Story of Seasons. Yeah. Yeah, we named it Penis Farm. And Minecraft. Aw. Oh. <laughs> well. I know do what not my... bring the eels. I do not want eels. I, I I know what my plans are for this week. Is it to kill all eels in the Atlantic Ocean? I wish. But no, we are. We're gonna be taking part in the launch day experience for uh, New World tomorrow. Oh oh right right right. Um, do you want to stream that with me? Sure. Cause I mean I'll be up at the hour tomorrow. Well, I want. It's the launch day anyway, and yeah. I'm gonna want to be part of that. Oh yeah. Because like I think what well, I'm probably not gonna be streaming until like uh, like my normal time because I'm not. F fuck it, if I'm getting up at seven a.m. to stream, <laughs> and then having to wait two hours in in a login queue at seven a.m. We'll uh synchronize it. Since yeah. We'll still have to wait two hours for a uh, login queue. Yeah. Okay, that shield arm needs to set. But yes, we are going to play New World. And we're gonna be um, we're gonna be uh, war profiteers. Exactly. We are gonna go out. We're gonna go onto the, onto the Tiern and Oak server. I pick, um, I pick that see, specifically because it's Irish. Yes, Mari is going to sell bullets, and um, I'm going to be selling bullets, freshly used. <laughs> we'll go from town to town selling munitions to different clans. <laughs> if they don't buy, they will have sold to. What they have but what they what they don't buy will be given to their enemies and will be deposited into their chest cavities. <laughs> oh no. I'm selling my bullets gently used, Mari. Oh. To everyone who doesn't buy your product. <laughs> A little demonstration, if you will. We do a little uh, trolling. Well, they had the option to buy at your generous prices. Yeah, like... If they refuse, that's on them. Exactly. Right, just adjusting the music real quick. And, uh, if Mari ends up staying up till 3 a.m. playing New World, we'll also do it at my stream time. <laughs> <laughs> if I could get away with that, yeah. 
if we could get away Honestly, with... Honestly, if you woke up at like 7 a.m., I could just start a gorilla stream. And then we could carry it over into your usual stream. Oh, Jesus. So what, we start on your stream where I guest, and then we continue it on my stream? Where I guest. Oh my god. But we'll, we'll have to think this one true after the stream. <laughs> But at what cost? Uh, the cost of me and Mari going full gremlin mode. War gremlin. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Well, are you learning the hard way what you're saying? Ouch. <laughs> I sleep more now than ever. Did it do two yeets? I only got one alert for the ye. <laughs> I mean, it... I know my insomnia has been acting up, but that's because I'm in an oppressive episode. And my lethargy isn't syncing up with my body's fitness. Two so yeets? <laughs> two yeets for the price of one? <laughs> what value? <laughs> Oh, there's yes, a... what value that you can only find on Mari the Ganger's stream. Hell yeah. Which is why you should use Mari's Conquest link. Yes, become become part of the Conquest community. I also, also say on the stipulation that you have to play 100 Kingdoms. Um, if you play Spires, please support me instead and try and get... But... Try and, uh... I don't know why I put the X-Files one in there. I really don't know why I did the exiles. I, I think I put it in there because of the fucking Illuminati meme. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't groove with the New World Order. I um, I keep my naughty dark. No, I, don't I get Illuminati. No, I did it because of. Uh, I, I think I did it because <laughs> I was thinking of doing. Something with like you know the goblin and Illuminati from Final Fantasy. Oh right, 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 right. <laughs> the goblin Illuminati. Hey, uh, once cross data center uh, travel happens, you want to do uh, Final Fantasy streams? Oh hell yeah! Whenever Yoshi gets that done. We could even do Prague. Oh Jesus! Oh, I, I mean, I could, I could get my. Uh... Get one of my tanks and one of my DPS. Where the hell did that arm go? I'm not dropping another arm. Uh, no, no, no. It wouldn't be Sal. It would be uh my mod Redwin. Oh, Redwin, yeah. Who is actually on um, who does EX prog with me? Ah, has he done ultimate? Uh, no, 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 no. But if this is that post status center travel, it'll be after Endwalker launch, so we oh, won't yeah. be doing ultimate. <laughs> no ooh woo. No, the ultimate of AD, you will. Ooh. I want a near ultimate, please, and thank you. No, I would imagine the next ultimate is going to be Shinryu. Really? I mean, I can see that, yeah, but because at the like, same time... Well, you gotta think of it, the first ultimate was Bahamut, so that was where we were born. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then... And there was Omega, which was Stormblood. No, 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 Omega wasn't an ultimate. It went to Alexander then. No, because there was one between Bahamut and... I thought Ultimate Omega was a thing. There's... Hold on. Oh no, weapons were fine, which was ultimate weapon. Minstrel's ballad weapons were... Yeah, so there's Uwu, not... there's Yukob, which is Bahamut. <laughs> there's Yukob, which is called, yeah, Bahamut. Then Uwu, which is weapons were fine. <laughs> and then T, which is, uh, Alexander. Yeah, Alexander. Yeah. And then I think the next one they said is going to be the Dragon Song War. So okay, so that's go gonna be Need Hulk. 
Yep, you need hug. Fuck. And then we'll probably get um either Shinryu or or the four lords ultimate maybe. So we we'll have to fight. I would, I would hope the the four lords would be cool as an ultimate. But they would have to come after Shinryu though, and we'd still also need to think about Omega. True. Though if you think about it, an Omega ultimate could be tied in with Shinryu. Yeah. Um, in fact, it could be, um, the dirge of, uh, oh, yeah, the, the dirge of, the, the dirge of Belsar's wall. Yes. That, like, just has us fighting the griffin as part of the ultimate. Sloppy! There. Sloppy! <laughs> sloppy! <laughs> Fucking lion. Just sloppy! Sloppy! Winston just came in to thunderous applause. Hey, it's Hello, Winston. Hello, best boy. Here but yeah, no, like, here okay, comes the boy. okay, okay, <laughs> let me measure it here for you. Here comes the boy. His front shoulders, Okay. when, when like, in his normal posture, are about seven inches apart, and his hind shoulders are about five inches apart, or five and a half. Sweet Jesus. Told you he's muscular and he's chunky. Fuck, yeah, he's a fucking, he's a heckin' chunker. You can see like the muscle definition in his form too, because like you can feel how his shoulder blades are muscled out, and then like how his side abs are toned, <laughs> and like then the smoothness on his back without his belly distending. Jesus, he's a fucking built-out Chad. Thunder toys? Yeah, he has thunder thighs. <laughs> <laughs> he has thunder toys. People keep making fun of him for being fat. But he's no, not he's fat, he's fat. just fucking hench. <laughs> he is jacked. He is a bodybuilder. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. It just makes me see. My cat witness tips. You know, it just kind of reminds me of like, you know, Family Guy? That that one episode oh, yeah. of Family Guy where like Stewie like gives steroids to a pig. Mm. <laughs> I was just like, oh. I've not been feeding my cat steroids. I have been feeding him wet food, anything he can catch, and dry food. Maybe all the hunting he does, <laughs> it's like fucking making him built out. He's just min max. He does bring in a lot of mac mice and moles and. He's just min maxing. He's min maxing strength build. <laughs> He's going for a strength build hunter. <laughs> Pathfinder. Um so let's see if there's any archetype that's good for that because um Would, wouldn't he be Blood Rager? <laughs> uh no no no. Blood Rager is just a barbarosaurus. Barbarosaurus. He'd be a hunter, he's a cat. Also a hot I need I need to get something. Or maybe a vigilante, if you prefer. Sloppy. Sloppy. I gotta, I gotta stop the music for a second just to play this clip, just to play this two-second clip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna unmute your stream just to listen to this clip. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it up nice and loud. Cause you're about to hear the G. Like Lioness knows this, but you're about. The rest of you are about to hear the beauty of the griffin. Sloppy. <laughs> Good old sloppy. Sloppy. I love that sloppy. <laughs> sloppy. Um, lioness. <laughs> um. Oh. Lioness, open invitation in 5.x. Do you, do you want to join us, Progan? 6.x. 6.x. We're, we're right. in 5.x right now. <laughs> we're in 5.58. Yeah. <laughs> we're in the end game. You're going back, Ren. Right? You're going back in time, Ren. <laughs> uh, do want you want to join uh, me and Mari uh, trying to do Cross Savage EX content? 
want to hear something kick. Yeah, I want to hear something kick. Is it kick Lay or it on me. Is it kick or cringe? Well, welcome back to Keck or Cringe with Winvalia. <laughs> Today we have Reaver Captain um, presenting. Reaver Captain, if you will. <laughs> also. I mean, Kami, if you want to just turn this into an EDF stream afterwards, we can. <laughs> yeah. Though I will point out again, I am stopping at around 12.30 my time. Because I have a call with the employment officer again. Under good luck. Ah, it's fine. I just need to tell him some things. It's just it's just like a monthly checkup shit. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. Like, are you still looking for work? <laughs> five point five. But yes. Why not? Sure, I could stab myself several You're times. I'm not going for a full overhaul of six. I could make it a commie does homework again. <laughs> Kami I don't do think they're going to add crunchy math. I think it's going to be a few technicalities explained with the same amount of action, with the same amount of availability and just as much fluff. Uh, hello, Lawson. How are you doing? Even though they've had very few splat books. But now, uh. I'm hoping to get a static going. I'm talk. I'm in talks with um. Well, I'm gonna hopefully start talking. Yeah. But you know, I'm ho I'm gonna be talking with people in my FC on Lich to get an FC an FC static going. Um, if you want a streamer prog static, um, I'm actually a really good mitigation healer. Nice. Um, okay. my credentials. Um, I'll have to work things out and see how... I carried a glare mage through, um, Wallax. Damn. And uh, everyone who was there can testify that that mage was pretty much just glaring. And then I'm gonna be... I'm mostly gonna be doing gunbreaker tanking. Because I've been railing hard on... MT or MT? I gotta ask. I could do MT or... M or I could do MT or OT, really. Um, then I may have the ability to get you and maintain, oh, oh, off tank or main tank. I, I don't know which they'd prefer. I don't mind the either or, really. Uh. But I want to see how getting a static with my own FC goes first. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dog has trapped me. Yes, Reaver. But you also, um. I do think it would be really fun to do a uh, blind runs of oh, new content yeah. as a gang. That'd be cool. That'll be a bit hard with like a full X pack dropping, but just give us another Roban or er, Roban Savage, please. Oh god! Oh. An error occurred during event movement. <laughs> <laughs> I still love the fact that I have. Guys, Zodiac, no. I, uh, I I still love the fact that I have a t-shirt with that on it. Went to fucking FanFest in Paris wearing it. And I'm pretty sure one Beautiful. one of the community like one of the community organizers from the from the Germany office saw it and they just like shook their head. <laughs> <laughs> they just looked at it and they just like shook their head. Hey Mari, you wanna hear a joke? Go for it. This is gonna make you super angry. Oh, what are you gonna you do? You know Rob on EX? Yeah. I cut in line. How? And it worked. How? Um, you know how people were making super organized lines on a lot of servers? Did you cut the line? Yeah, I just walked right up to Rob on. You know, you are, you are what's wrong with the world. <laughs> you are what's wrong with the world, Rin. There was a, we had a solemn sacrosanct agreement throughout every server that we would do an orderly line. Our creed was sacrosanct and you broke that creed. <laughs> I saw my opportunity and I 
saw my opportunity to subvert the system, and I chose to stick to my morals <laughs> at the betrayal of all my peers. How does that make you feel? Honestly? Apostate. <laughs> honestly? Yeah? I feel no remorse. Because ultimately it made it funny for like half a day on... It made it funny for like... Well, more like 30 minutes to 45 on Balmung. Jesus. No, no Sigmar grinds it. Sigmar... Sigmar has left this place. No, no, this is entirely the Sigmar grind set. No, because Sigmar grind set says that we need to actually do GW stuff. No. Oh, this, right. Sorry. This is, um, uh, this, 100 Kingdoms grind, Spires grind set. This is the, this is the tiest grind set. <laughs> this is the Directorate grind set. Chaos Rise Up. Oh, so it would be a uh, Nord grind set. Also, you know what's sad? Huh? That they're basically re-releasing those Necromunda upgrade kits in plastic, but still selling the resin ones. <laughs> I mean, don't you want your resin options, Mari? No, I know they're gonna get rid of resin, but still. Even though the resin models are superior, they're getting rid of the resin. You want 100 kingdoms to have guns. No. No guns. There's no gunpowder. Yeah, like... There's no gunpowder. This is like... The closest thing is like the firestones. The, yeah, this the is like... Dwarves, what? Yes. Would you say early to mid? Medieval period? E... We have crossbows, and the spires have hand crossbows, but that's because the spires are bullshitting. Because the spires are fucking aliens. Um, we're still conducting ourselves with a degree of honor. Yeah, like, you're, you're at least leveling we're yourself. You, we're adhering to the tech level. With yeah, yeah. You, you, yeah. Have, you haven't, like, cheated and, like, gone, like, several eras ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, like, adhering to the eras, like, doctrines and... Material. Ge gentleman's agreement. Yeah, no, we're we may be pieces of shit, but we're honorable pieces of shit. Yeah, hand a hand cannon was available during the late medieval era, but a hundred mid. Yeah, this is like early to mid. And uh with us in the spires, the only thing we've done in terms of like equipment advancement. Like, and I don't even think, mind you, I don't even think we have cannons yet. Like, I think the closest we have to like anything. The only thing we've really done in that regard is we've made hand crossbows for our infiltrators. Yeah, and I'd say the most. But we're sticking that to crossbows. I'd say the fanciest <laughs> shit that like the hundred kingdoms could possibly make are like catapults and yeah. siege, like siege tools. They can make a tre They can make a good trebuchet, I'd say, and a nice bridge, maybe an aqueduct. Commissar just want the spam cav. I mean, that's doable. You're just not going to get ranged cav. I don't know. There is talks about ranged cav. I've seen talks about it, but I don't know if it's official yet. I don't think it's going to be a Hundred Kingdoms thing. No, if anything, it would be possibly war uh, Wadrun. It would be Wadrun and maybe Nords. Yeah, like Mounted Bow Chosen, maybe. Because spires don't get cavalry, instead we get you get cool abominations. Yeah, you get monstrous units instead. And that's honestly why I like them so much. I just want my Spanish tree off. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, the horrific Abramic Angel Undead faction. Oh, the old might... Dominion have like a pistol or two i don't know but it would be limited to maybe character units <sighs> yeah it better be limited to character units otherwise but, that's um, a sign of a power creep where so far i've looked into every faction so far now rules wise considering that 
you don't have to buy hundreds of books to look into rules. <laughs> you get them all for free. <laughs> yeah, but they're all pretty balanced. Yeah, like, sure, some some factions excel it, it excel in areas that others don't, but that's just thematic. Like, spires are good in melee. Why is that? We have the abomination. Plus, also, you can you have you you we have also have the uh, lady. Yeah, and also on average, you just have more infantry because you have fourth you have fourth ground drones and vanguard drones. Fourth ground clones, oh, clones, vanguard drones, and marksmen. No, the vanguard and marksmen are clones. The fourth ground are drones. Yeah, so you have, you just have drones. Yes, we have highly expendable at the cost of. Where I would hazard to say, right? Hundred king right. hundred kingdoms are the jack of all trades, master of none faction. You know, I would actually agree there. They have they have versatility Though in every I think area. They're starting to get a bit of one or two edges. They have a bit of an edge when it comes to cavalry. I was actually gonna say, um, magic. Oh yeah, because oh yeah, the null mage and chapter mage. He, y'all's mages are actually pretty pretty good. Yeah, but like, Cav is also a strong suit. And uh, uh kind of lose out to a few other factions with range, to though. At the moment, yeah, like I think. I think is it what Wardrun are better with ranged than a hundred kingdoms because they have yeah Wardrun just have all the range. Oh, was it Wardrun? No, wait, was it Wardrun or Nord? Because I think is it the bow chosen that beat crossbowmen? Well, I mean, bow chosen are fun, but crossbowmen are spammable. Yeah, plus also the historically they're just more effective because you can keep. It would take ages to teach someone to use a bow, where it could take you, what, a day to teach someone how to use a crossbow? You can teach someone to use a crossbow in about 30 minutes. Yeah, that's like, it's that, one on one. It, it even says that in on the unit box for the crossbowman. Like, if I read the back of it, right, I'll just put it on screen here. The crossbow represents a significant technological improvement over the bow and longbow, but well, some could argue the longbow's increased range and rate of fire outclasses cro the crossbow. Mastery of that massive weapon requires years, while a man can learn to completely care for and use a crossbow in a matter of days. <laughs> okay, if we're adding in care for, then yes, it would take like a few days, two or three days, but half a week at most. Still, comparatively. That is still a hell of a lot quicker than teaching someone to use a longbow. Oh, absolutely. As someone who uses a longbow, absolutely. They're expensive to make, sure, but once you have them made. The cross now, crossbows are if just. If you don't mind your spear infantry dying, which uh, historically people have not minded. It's also really easy to teach the spear. Yeah. You see those horsemen coming? That will probably stick them with the pointy end. With the pointy end at thirty miles an hour. Yeah, you just yeah, put just out your pointy end. Instead. You'll probably die, but I mean, you can stick them with the pointy end. There, there is. It's also the fact that you know, with spears, right? Right. There's a lot of transferable skills from other areas because most people, like most infantry that use spears, were probably farmers before becoming soldiers. Yes, exactly. So they're used to using stuff like pitchforks and whatnot. So the kind of the motions are kind of transferable. <laughs> Though, um, with the historical armies that have used spear doctrine. Or use spears as a part of their military doctrine and deployment. Or not military doctrine, logistical doctrine. Um, 
it becomes apparent that actual styles will pop up. Uh, yeah. And some of those, no, don't worry. especially Roman spearmanship, are pretty damn good. But, uh, that's just my opinion, though. No need to go spreading it around. <laughs> that's just my opinion. Sip, sips iced tea. <laughs> becomes current. Beco becomes current. <laughs> I think auto loading crossbows are a bit much, Kami. Kami. Tommy, you can't have auto-loading crossbows. I'm sorry. Get out of here with your Da Vinci madman ideas. <laughs> what is this? Yes, this what? clearly goes against the Directorate's biomancy protocol. Also, what is this? Um, what is this science? To a pheromancer and forbidden from practicing further biomancy. What is this science that you speak of? This is goes against the the tenets of the church. <laughs> I'm afraid your proposed innovations go against the directorates. I'm sorry, but that would, uh... Um, biomantic would, directive. It would also go you against... you must see sh this line of the, inquiry. We're also worried that the other spoilers might see this as unfair competition. <laughs> no, we're more worried about the nobles getting upset. <laughs> the directorate of other spires will understand. Well, what, once part, once the lore is set in stone that we can have auto crossbows, I, I'm upgrading my crossbow with the auto crossbows. I don't want auto crossbows. Please keep it at this tech level. You know what I would like to see though in the future for oh. for the seat for like the range actual yeah, siege yeah. actual siege weaponry. Oh yes, for absolutely. I want to see what kind of horrifying shit the spires would have. Because imagine having, like, a massive battle, right? Like, at a tournament. Where one side has to take over a keep. And the other side has yeah, to yeah, defend yeah. it. Like a control point. Or imagine just, like, you know... Laying siege a to a town. The Hundred Kingdoms army is marching on a spire, right? Yeah. To try and remove the influence from the region, because you got to take out the spire itself. Maybe even have siege defenses. And, um, basically, uh, well, that inspires style, first off. Yeah. But, uh, y'all be rolling up with, like, trebuchet construction, maybe catapult construction. Siege and towers. All that jazz. You'd have fucking. And on the other side, you'd have just, like, all these horrific mutant monstrosities. <laughs> yeah. Maybe something with, like, a giant throwing arm welded to its back. Just throwing fucking rocks at them. <laughs> just throwing fucking, like, biological warfare things and rocks. Giant fucking, like, vials of, like, acid. <laughs> of, like, stomach acid and bile. Or, like, uh, say... What I'd do is say I have a uh, hundred kingdoms versus hundred kingdoms, right? And you have a noble lord trying to take out another noble lord. All you gotta do have oil pots on the defense, right over the oh, fucking God, gate. Yes. Oil pots. Just. I just want like that, <laughs> but instead it's acid pots, like with spires and stuff, like you know. Because they're messing with the body, and, uh, it's like... You feel me? Mining under the ground to collapse the walls. Now, that's something I could see the Dweg home doing. Yeah, no, um, Spires Th wouldn't do that, because... That would, that would be a Dweg home thing. With Spires, those are our logistical routes. Yeah, you go underground with your logistics. We don't... We don't, we don't want to open up those lines to the enemy. Sappers could work. We would just shoot, like, spores from our tower. Old from school our spire, if you will. Sappers could work for 100 kingdoms. But not, like, digging underneath a, t a wall. I'd say, what did sappers do in the medieval period? 
uh, they walked up very close. Didn't they like put like explosive pots like near walls that would be shot by an arrow? But uh, here's the thing. The nope. guys who walked it up very close generally had to make sure it exploded right. So they ain't what well, they ain't going back home. <laughs> yes, <the> sappers. <laughs> they weren't going home. You had to make sure they, their families had a good pension. Yeah. Um. That's actually because. Fairly certain class clear is sapping. Oh, never mind. Wait, hold uh, on. There was something I remember because I was watching. I watched the Netflix series Nightfall, right? Which is about the temp, the last remaining Templars in France after the failing, the failed retaking of the Holy Land. Uh huh. Uh huh. And the French king. Uses Greek fire against them. Wouldn't we could have Greek fire essentially though in conquest? You could have it. Yeah, you could ha still have the fire bombs of the old Dominion. Yeah, Those aren't like, witchcraft. Yeah, because Greek fire is just oil, isn't it? Um, the exact compound is still being debated as it's a lost technology. Yeah. For us, but not necessarily for the Hundred Kingdoms. And another thing that wouldn't necessarily have been lost is Damascus Steel. Yeah. Should that have been an equivalent in the first place? Yeah, well, like, say, I've, wor I've worked it out in the lore for my faction. The, the area that they're crusading to take back, right? has ore reserves that are good for making armor but is not flexible or yo know, sturdy enough to be put into a narrow point like a blade so they have to get metal from other regions to make their weapons but they have fucking good armor you know if only we gave that armor to the peasantry because <laughs> I I pretty much got it in the first draft of the lore, right? That they see the leader of the house as the second coming of an old theist saint. <laughs> ah, um, in my spire lore, um, it's been known that I am trying to adapt a ranged doctrine as a petition within the directorate. And to do so, I have to prove the effectiveness of existing range to doctrines. <laughs> so that's and why you bullied such, 100 kingdoms. Um, <laughs> my vanguard infiltrators, um, or my vanguards tend to all be infiltrators as a result. <laughs> and I try to always make sure to deploy um, clone, uh, clone marksmen when given the opportunity, but... Yes, that is why I'm bullying the Hundred Kingdoms, just to prove that we can, in uh, fact, develop a ranged superiority. Well, and that's why you're considered mo an outcast spire, because you, you have these um, weird ideas. No, I'm just a radical amongst the directorate. Because you don't want to just sit there and do the same old thing every day. Um, it's more like I'm writing a thesis. And they said, okay, go out and fucking prove it, nerd. Alright, alright, Martin Luther. <laughs> it's academia. Yeah. <laughs> so they want me to go out and prove, like, my ranged doctrines are good. Ranged doctrines good. With our forces. Oh god, Ed, Ed, and Eddie music. You, me, and call me the Ed, Ed, and Eddie of the war, the war mongers community. We really are. We really are. Yeah, I won't argue. I don't know how to feel about that, but we really are. Hi. I think that's all the heads now. Well, y'all are green, so it's fine. How many fucking heads? <sighs> oh yes, I'm considered a directorate radical because I do sick kick flips. <laughs> on my uh, flesh board. 
<laughs> Which, until proven otherwise, is entirely just a drone designed in the shape of a skateboard. That has wheels on it. <laughs> it's just a mini drone that has wheels. <laughs> that has tiny legs. <laughs> that has just four tiny legs going in a circle. And four of those. I want to find an artist to do the concept art for my no like my noble lord because like i use that i use that like you know the ai generated art thing that people use yeah i, I use I that to get a rope please link me to that uh i can't i'm trying to remember the name of it now actually i need to find the image i have the image in but um no the actual reason my spire is considered um, a radical amongst the directorate is uh, because she takes genetic samples from the Hundred Kingdoms. Ah. Uh. And she has very clearly used some on herself, the, including things like hair. That's the one I used. I used airflow. I don't know what Alina is, but okay. Mm. But uh, I'll actually. Wait, what's what? What's okay, Lena? What's Lena? I don't know. I I don't get that reference. I don't get that reference either. But oh, I will. I'm gonna show oh, the. Angle. I'm gonna show the concept image or well rough idea that I got from. Da. Ray on stream that I want to use to develop a, you know, a proper full conquest conquest character art like in the yeah, style yeah, of the yeah, actual yeah, yeah. game art so we have this, I'm just going to have to expand the size real quick that is what my noble lord looks like roughly Kind of going with that for my rough styling. Yeah. Kind of wanted. I want. I'll, I'll shoot you that. Like what I wrote into Airflow as the parameters, right? I wrote white-haired French female noble, blue eyes. And that's what it gave me. <gasps> yeah, white hair is quite popular. Kiss me. It also kind of works with, uh, what you call it. It has that kind of saintly appearance to it when it comes to this old medieval stuff. Sorry, I'm, I just like post sneeze. It's. Ugh. Oh no! Bless, yeah, bless you, Red. Thank you. Okay, but who's Lena? Yeah. I'm. I'm still lost on this. I hate. Lick my balls. <laughs> You know what? I was, I'm just gonna assume it was like kind of a like Mary Sue alien from some obscure game. I don't know, cause what um, I what I, I look up what I look up Lena, I'm just getting Lena Dunham. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just a sci-fi character who wanted to be cool. Linus, will you please fill me in on who Lena is? Also, I yeah. will ask nicely and owe you one. Yeah, do you want this uh, shoddy excuse for uh, explaining Lena it deserves right now? 
I think it, uh, it, it? it I think it deserves a sloppy. <laughs> sloppy. Sloppy. Fucking hell, Il fucking Ilbert. <laughs> Sloppy. Lena into this dick. Wow. The hybrid. Lena into this dick. I'm guessing a sci fi hybrid. Gotta put some market music on. <laughs> Medieval market music. Lena stud. Also, allows that it's the sloppy thing is a it's a meme from uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> His transcended <laughs> godhood. Sloppy. I need to see if that's actually a, I need to see if that's a sound alert actually on. I need to see if that's a sound alert I can use. A Dragon Age character? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm gonna obsess over this until I figure it out. Really <laughs> you are really, me. yeah, you're obsessing over this lead. Uh, please don't bully right now. Lena stood Boku I University don't... of Natural Resources and Life Sciences, Vienna. I mean, they're a real person, so they have lore. Fuck, they actually... They actually do exist, yeah. Okay, if y'all want to keep this a secret on stream, please DM me, because no, no, this is actually... Well, I mean, Archangel's not wrong. There is a leader stud that is actually a... So... <laughs> They are actually a professor of natural resources and life science, which is kind of what you were going at with your, your biomancy. <laughs> I mean, no, this is actually, um, spurring some... Mari, you know about my stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, really flaring that up. Uh, just try and put it to the back of your mind. Done. I know. Um, y'all, I got a therapist appointment in four and a half hours. Ouch. Y'all, please just tell me. Yeah, just tell. Come on, guys, just tell her. No, like, just, just. Just get, just get it out of the way, guys. I don't think they can... Okay. Sorry. No, 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 no. Nothing for you to be sorry for. No, it's, um... Oh, boy. Yeah, it's... Oh, this is this is to do with it's Vel one of these things. This is, is what I'm trying to say. This is to do with Vel's show. This and Linus it right now. One of them needs to tell, let us in on this. Um, Archangel, I will say I have um what the cool kids would call brain problems and um. Yeah, I don't know what like I don't just clearing one of them up really, really badly. And Yeah, that's why I want this to be answered now. I'm not even ki I'm not even trying to be joking right now, I I'm serious. And that is not something I wanted to have to say on stream, but
No, just get us a straight answer now, Linus, please. Just give me a straight answer. Hold on, search at Linus MK1 Lena. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I know what they're getting at here. I don't check Twitter that often. Ly Lena is Linus's character's short name. Oh, oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, okay. Okay, crisis of her. Crisis averted. Okay. Okay. Just, just think. Here comes the boy. <laughs> I'm just focusing on getting the shoulder together now. Yeah. Honestly, your shoulders look so much easier over there. Because they're part of the arms. Um, no, just because of how they connect. Oh yeah. <laughs> how would yours connect? Uh, very carefully. And with lots of skill. Oof. God, I love the posing though on these men at arms. The posing is just amazing. Alright, Alosin. See you later. Thank you for dropping by, Alison. Yes, thank you. Um, my stream will be later tonight at 23 EST. Please tune in. Yes. I mean, you want to see good posing on these, like, men at arms? Hold on. Let me get one of the ones I've actually painted real quick. I forgot he's magnetized into the base. <laughs> Look at this lad. Once I zoom in on him. Well, what if it isn't the consequences of your own actions? Look at this lad. He's just he's got that. Lad. He's just got that. Come at me, pose. <laughs> Honestly, I would have made him a bit more pasty. He's a filthy peasant. What do you expect? <laughs> to not be able to properly get a sun... To not properly be able to have any nutrition in his skin. Ugh. <laughs> Which is that... It's it being, like, overly red with, like, paleness attached. Like windburn? <laughs> yeah, like windburn. I might do that with some of the third, like, the later ones. But that was just, like, with tests, like, with the foot... With one block of them. The armor placement is really nice on on the men at arms, and the the armor designs, model to model, are very like they're quite varied. Like you've got some that just have these gambesons, right? Right, right. Then you've got ones with uh, where's the chainmail ones? There's like ones that have chainmail, like underneath, like a coat. Yeah. And then you have some that do have plate, but like not a whole lot of plate. Like, it's just like a plate, breastplate. <laughs> and they've got like chainmail grills. <laughs> Based. This is like, uh, he's not getting his teeth knocked out today. <laughs> Look, sometimes you just need chainmail grills to flex on your fellow dirty peasants. Yeah. Tell you when when, I'm, when my militia get here, I have got to go full dirty peasant on them. Oh yes. Like I gotta you make. Better have like windburn uh, and. I gotta give the windburn pale pasty skin. Their armor's gotta be all. <laughs> some of them are gonna have like f their armor's gotta be in like varying stages of like disrepair and dirt. <laughs> sure some of them are like super jaundiced too because they're like from hunters and they've only eaten meat for a while. I have jaundice good sire. What the fuck is jaundice? 
Oh, you haven't seen... I know, mm. I, I, know I know what jaundice is, but like, they, they'd be like, what's jaundice, Sawyer? <laughs> look, look, it's too big for your little tiny farmer brain to understand, okay? Do not worry, peasant. You may serve all the same. It, Thank you, Sawyer. Because like, literally, the majority of the forces that my duchess has, right, are all peasant farmers and other nobles that are like religiously minded and they all like thinking that she's like a saint like the saint they, they've just become fucking zealots <laughs> so they've just lost their they're just fucking <laughs> literally they are like you ever play total war warhammer yeah 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 they're literally like the peasant the peasant unit from Bretonia. <laughs> nice I don't- I don't talk with Job no more. He consorts with evil powers. Heard Job was talking to one of them spire folk. We burned him at the stake. <laughs> the funny thing is, the spires actually send out merchants to interact and- That's why- that's why we're in such a bad relationship. We've like fucking attacked your merchants. Honestly! <laughs> We're just, it's mute, it's, it's, it's mad, okay? It's mutually assured destruction. It's mutually assured destruction, and we knew that, and you we were... all went for it. <laughs> we knew that and tried to de-escalate, <laughs> but then y'all just went for it. We just fucking went all in. <laughs> it's like, we're pretty, you know? You were like, okay, guys, we're, we're looking to have a nice clean discussion and then we were like okay let's send out trade envoys and then imme immediately a fucking far a farmer just throws a fucking brick at them and they're like okay they they don't recognize us okay. this is a normal reaction let's continue as planned let's just continue with Merchants the clone were burned at the stake <laughs> Job was okay, maybe trying it in one of their larger cities might help for mercantile relations. They were drowned in the lake. <laughs> they just see they the spire. They in the public square. <laughs> <laughs> we start putting the heads of like spire merchants on stakes outside the wall. <laughs> we send the envoys out. To, so like, who's the off. who's the aggressor in this situation, really? <laughs> traitors to like subvert it and like try and take control to make it <laughs> just like... make it just makes it worse <laughs> oh this is just the truth like, try and like take control of the higher ups to make them more accepting and it just makes it worse <laughs> because the infiltrators keep fucking up since it's before my range doctrine <laughs> and so they don't understand plus also a lot of the infiltrators don't even understand like the nuances of, of the humans. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, they're drones. They don't understand uh, suspicion or, rather, or sarcasm <laughs> or religious zeal. <laughs> they do not. They don't, they don't know why there's posters up in this town square saying that the Spire are going to come and eat their children. <laughs> Well, they understand that. They just don't see why that's a bad thing. They re... Spires Pop are very... Uh... Population control. <laughs> no, that's just recycling. No, that, that one line that the peasants have in Total War just gets me the whole... I, I don't talk with Job no more. <laughs> he consorts <laughs> with evil powers. Like... Ah, uh, Job. <laughs> children <laughs> because they're just like well we recycle everything oh uh, i need to get the peasant voice lines. Witchcraft. i need to get the peasant voice lines. hold on I, I i know the voice line you're talking about i know but i'm getting like... it for the audience <laughs> <laughs> okay. so here you go you're getting a good glimpse into what goes on in my kingdom our lord's orders to face the dark and powers. a fair glimpse Must into what goes on not. when I try to send envoys into this kingdom. The dark powers. We must. We must. We 
you're lucky, Samuel. The lowborn do not worry about things such as honor. We are lucky, Samuel. The lowborn do not worry about things such as honor. I don't care if I have no honor. These arrows kill. <laughs> That's good enough for me. Don't listen to Job anymore. He consorts with evil powers. Foul creatures. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> I just love that one now. It's just like, I don't care if I have no honor. These arrows kill it. That's good enough for me. <laughs> when I get longbowmen, that's all they're gonna be. <laughs> What's this? An injured spire get surrendering? Put my boot on his chest and put an arrow through his head. <laughs> It takes all kinds of critters to make Farmer Vincent's fritters. <laughs> Fuck, beside us. It's just wild. Then I'm just imagining. Ren, are you still there? Oh, I forgot my mic was muted. <laughs> Sorry. Were you laughing your ass off? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I just imagine, like, on my side, it's like, we keep sending out requests for diplomatic talks, and we keep sending envoys and merchants, and I just keep crying over them because I keep getting impaled or worse. Oh, but no. What no honestly, that's beautiful. When every time like those diplomatic things fail, I'm just imagining your your specific leader. It's just like that the meme of like a confused John Travolta. <laughs> just like, what? Why? <laughs> Why would you do this? Those yeah. those drones are expensive. <laughs> No, 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 it's not those drones are expensive, it's just, why would you do this? That was a peace envoy. Don't want no peace with your kind. <laughs> <laughs> I do that voice too it's well. Like, <laughs> it's like it a merchant or an envoy, like, that somehow got past the initial bullshit, um, saw the, uh, the eight babies sign and was like, well, <laughs> yes, we recycle everything in the spires. <gasps> They start truck. And it was just like, and then they it, admit it. And then they, <laughs> then it just escalated from there. Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for my spires right now. <laughs> so really, it's my people that are the fucking, uh, 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 like, aggressors in this situation. You tried to, well, you tried to be peaceful. They're instigating me. I'm probably the group that drew first military action proper. Yeah, it's just the peasants are a bit stupid. With sending in infiltrators. That wasn't even me trying to be Australian, Calexis. That was just me trying to be a dirty French peasant. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much difference. Don't listen to Job no more. <laughs> this is a foul uh, creature. But, uh, no, um... Oh. I'm just imagining, like, I had to start sending in infiltrators and stuff to, like, try and take control. Political and, like... subversion. <laughs> yeah, I had to start going for political subversion since, like, regular peace talks weren't working. And then you realize and that. And then you caught on to that, and then it's like, well. No, it's that the infiltrators quickly realized that the spire's form of politics and diplomacy is too far over the heads of humans. <laughs> I was going to say it's just the infiltrator forces got wiped out and I was like, well, total war it is. Cowabunga it is. <laughs> yeah, Cowabunga it, it is. <laughs> I, you uh, know, it's just a, a little bit of cowabunga as a treat. I try to be good at voices. I was always told though in school collectors that I was better at doing facial expressions. Because uh, I, I let you in on a little, I let you in on a little secret. I actually was part of a school musical at one point for Footloose, <laughs> where I play, where I played the uncle. <laughs> I got, 
I don't, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry I keep putting you off, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 you're good. It's your stream. Yeah. But no, I, I apparently, like, according to the choreographer, I got the role simply on the basis of being able to pull off a really good shocked ex facial expression. <laughs> No, that I, is... I, I was gonna say I think your voice is good oh, and if you ever wanted to like play through an RPG I would be willing to have you on board for some of the voices oh, I could try depends on the characters though I can't really do I can't do feminine voices the dirty peasants ah uh, yeah you, you, you flatter me sire <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know, I haven't heard you try to do, like, a more noble. Oh god, hold on, I need a few drinks. <laughs> alcoholic, or...? Non-alcoholic, I need to, like, drink a good two liters of, like, fucking water first before trying that. But yeah, you have a good voice. Yes, Mary, ha Mary has good voice. It's just Irish. <laughs> Guess what? An Irish voice can be a good voice, believe it or not. Hell yeah. Still though, I wish I had, I wish I had the voice of Theodore Roosevelt sometimes. The man who survived getting shot, punched the fucking assassin out, and continued with his speech. He <laughs> should talk the assassin in said speech, by the way. I know. <laughs> That was fucking great. The balls on this man. <laughs> it's like, I was he watching- He punched out the assassin, not killing the assassin. He just beat the shit out of the assassin. Got back up. The assassin Continue. was probably there to hear the assassin getting shit talked. <laughs> Gets back up to do the speed shit off the assassin. <laughs> oh. Granted, he was probably, like, being swamped by the Secret Service, but you could still hear it. <laughs> I was like, how dare you insult me, sir? Hey, you're the one that didn't manage to kill me. Yo, fair point. <laughs> Welcome to American politics. It isn't a good president without a an assassination attempt. Andrew Jackson horse whipped the man who tried to kill him. <laughs> Assassinate me, will you? <laughs> Filthy peasant. Ah, uh, lovely. And I've left this little gentleman here without a shield. Because I'm gonna try a cheeky thing and make a custom banner for him. Good, 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 good. Because I realized the sprues, the edges of the sprues are round. Yes. So you, if I could get like it narrowed down a bit with like a bit of filing. What I was thinking of um, doing for one of mine is for going one of their shields to have them hold a uh, normal vanguard <laughs> uh, banner. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna chop off a straight bit of a sprue right about now and te just test it. Like not not put it not put it on, but like just test it. Still gonna need a head for this. Did I cut out the head? Did I cut out the head? Oh. Yes. I realize actually I'm not even on camera right now. I need to move these models aside. <laughs> With the pile of spare heads that are left over after finishing the 20 24 minute arms. And they have eight, they have eight heads spare in in total. Oh yeah. So what's that? 
Because each men at arms kit, if you were to buy them separately, is 12 soldiers. There's only three stands. So it's two kits worth. So each one comes with four spearheads after you're done making them, which is really nice. Hey, spearheads are the best kind of spears because they are the best. Where is my file? I'm gonna file this down a little bit and then we'll t see what the test fits like and then I'll probably have to end the stream because we're coming up on the 90 minute mark. Oh, are we? I've been having so much fun. Um. I know, I know it's bad, but you know, I have a the yeah, call, yeah, the call, yeah. well the call I have is at like 12.45, which would be in about 20 minutes. Okay, then yeah, we're gonna have to, uh... He chooses such awkward times for these calls, but again, in his defense, he's he's under the pretense that I'm not doing anything and I'm unemployed, you know? <laughs> yes. Sparehead tree from, is from also... Yorkshire. <laughs> Yes, Ren? Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, no, 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 go ahead. Feel free, feel free. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Aw. In his defense, um, he's probably calling around lunchtime. Yeah. You just wake up really late. Alright, let's see. Flatten this end, too. Then again, I'm not one to really talk about, uh... Waking up properly. Yeah. I am the worst. Right. Let's have a quick test fit here. Okay, I'll probably need to foil it down to make it a bit more narrow, but the <laughs> starting fit kind of works. Yeah, like... And we're doing the New World thing tomorrow, right? Uh, should be, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I could... Yeah, I know I'm gonna give him a banner, but just doing this... Yeah, go ahead if you want, Kami. Don't rush yourself, though, if you don't want to. Yes, <laughs> always be wary of rushing yourself. Take your what, time. What gives me the idea for, though? Right? Uh huh. Is if, say, in the theoretical space of when it comes to the, the militia, I could yeah. actually use the same technique, just cut smaller sections. I could make little tor like torches that they're holding. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh my god. Just imagine that, like, hold, holding, like, their spears and torches. <laughs> Getting ready to burn some heretics. <laughs> but no, I have really enjoyed today. Yeah, thank you for having me on. It's always a pleasure having you on. It's always a pleasure being on. Uno reverse card. Oh. She only went and done it. Haha, <laughs> uh -huh. got him. But yeah, then for the rest of you, if you want to, I will be on virtual tabletop later doing some commander. It's not mini makers, I'm actually just gonna be playing some magic commander apparently. And tonight, I'm gonna be playing uh, a something something. Please look forward to it. <clears throat> And then tomorrow, me and Ren will Surprise. will be playing New World, hopefully. <laughs> WarioWare. Uh, Wah! Wario. WarioWare New World. Nari Wario. Wario colonization game. Wario. E Sarah Angel Virtual Tabletop. Where did I put my clippers? Oh, over here. Where did you put your clippers? I found them. Imagine using a hobby knife instead of your fingernails. That's not so- I don't have the nails for that. I entirely have the nails for that. Ah, uh, improvised.
survive, adapt, overcome. Wow. All right, Bear Grylls, calm down. That, that's actually a U.S. Marine propaganda thing. Yeah, but that's used a lot by fucking Bear Grylls, the survival guy. I know. He, uh, he's in on the propaganda. There is a mod. There is a mod being worked on at the moment, Archangel for Conquest on Tabletop Sim. At the moment, they're just like cut out of the box, the the box art. But they are working on trying to get 3D scans in. Yeah. It's really exciting. It's just it's going slow because you know they have to like manually scan in all the models. <laughs> Yeah. Um, if you want to find out more about Conquest, I recommend um, using the Parabellum Ref link that gives a 10% discount, <laughs> thanks to our lovely hostess, Mario the Gamer. <laughs> oh, fuck, again, Red is just my, my promotional person now. When I'm on, I mean, yeah. gotta support your homies. Exactly. I don't, I, I don't know actually if the ten percent works on the core box bundle though because that's a separate offer. But it might work. I don't. Uh, you have to test. Try it, and if it does work, let us know because that would be huge. Yeah, because then you're knocking like ten dollars off a hundred dollar order. And you are getting a a lot for it. Well over two hundred dollars worth for that order. I mean, if this was GW, you'd be paying well over two hundred dollars. It's it's over three hundred dollars value. It's like <laughs> yeah. And if you include the two extra boxes, that's four hundred. Yeah, because like each box is around what thirty five, forty dollars. Yeah, and you get so much. Plus, also you get some stuff that box. you get some stuff in the starter box that's actually only on pre order right now. Yeah, Namely and the... moreover, you get to add another two boxes just straight up. Yeah. Like no strings attached, you get two extra boxes of certain units. And you get all you get the unit cards for everything with the stats on them. All for one hundred US dollars. Yeah. Well, it's like it's one hundred in whatever your local currency is, so it's not just in US dollars. It's all for a hundred buckaroonies. Yeah. Okay, the commie stream is up. Okay then. I believe that would be the time then for us to uh, end here, and I will, we will leave you over to the capable hands of the uh, the commissar. Illustrious commissar. And yes, I did just say dollary dues. Get your dollary dues, Calixus. It's also a hundred and dollary dues, though I don't know about import fees. Oh Jesus. <laughs> uh. How, how much did you pay at import? Like, zero. Oh, shit. I'm in America. Yeah, but they're in Cyprus. I thought there would have been import charges. Unless, do they have a warehouse in the States? They might have a warehouse in the States. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but, yeah. Because, you know, some of their, like, models were sold out in NA. Yeah. So they must have so a separate warehouse. they have a uh, separate warehouse. warehouse. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I will bring us to the ending screen. It has been a pleasure to have you all here. Thank you again, Ren, for being here with me. Oh, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to be able to come on to an official Mari the Ganger stream. <laughs> and we will see you again tomorrow for the uh, New World stream, if New World yep, plays yep. nicely. But Hopefully it does. Farewell for now. Okay, bye-bye. stream though. Yeah. So many people showed up, that makes me really happy. It just makes me happy when people show up to any of our streams. Like, not even just mine, I'm just happy when people show up. Because it's like hanging out, 